What is up guys, Flux Edge here. I originally started recording this and I was gonna bunch all of the models and assets into one tutorial, but I decided that was way too long. So instead, this might be a little annoying too, but I'm gonna break each individual model into its own video. And that's just to keep them very, very short and to the point. So let's get started. So the first one I'm gonna be showing you how to do is the pipes. And I just lied, I'm gonna do the pipes and the cables because they're both super quick, less than five minutes. So let's go. So first off for the cables, if you haven't heard of a tool called Reaper, I would encourage you to add it to your plugins list in Cinema 4D. So what Reaper does is it takes any spline objects and it creates um, ropes or cabling or anything like that. And it just makes it really easy. And it's like these here and I'll show you. So I created these two walls. I'm going to get my spline tool select or click click and hold where I want it I'm gonna click off to make a new spline click click kind of get that curve make the heavy weight of it at the bottom to make it more believable click off this if you don't click off every time it's gonna make them one spline and you since these are gonna be separate parts you want them separated then here I'm gonna click click and drag again escape click off now I'm going to go to my plugins. This plugin is totally free. I'll leave a link in the description. It's not something I created, but it's something I've used for a long time. Just makes it that much quicker. So plugins, Reaper. I'm going to duplicate this by holding control and dragging and drag each one into its own Reaper. Then I'm going to click all of those by holding control. And as you can see right here, it's a bit of a mess. I'm going to turn on my garage shading lines. Now I'm going to make the radius of each individual strand. I'm gonna make it, let's say two. So let's go to one, make it a little bit smaller. And now we want the distance. The distance is how far away from each other these uh, strands are. So as you can see, we'll bring them in and you make, it, make them real tight like a rope. You can add more strands to make it even more coiled or you can coil it more to make it tighter as well. But for the cabling, I typically like to have it a little bit loose and add some distance. And this is all dependent on the scale. I usually use two as well. Less coils. And kind of like that. And that's pretty much all I did for the cables here. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to the pipes, which all of these pipes, it's all one piece. So make a new scene real quick. So it's the same thing. You're going to grab your pen tool. You're going to go into uh, this mode, grab one of your sides. Now I'm just going to click. So if you have a building, you want to move things along the edge in here. I will go a little more in depth with you. My shading lines back on. Okay. I've got this building, right? I want to build a basic pipe shape around it on the surface. So I'm just going to click, 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 however you want it, right? Hit escape to click off of it. Now I'm going to zoom in and hit control. Actually, yeah, I'm going to grab each point that I want holding shift and clicking. Each point that I want curved. So as you can see, it's it's kind of got a natural curve. There's nothing um, hard, no hard edges. So I'm gonna right click, go to chamfer, drag this out so however you want it. I think that's good. Now I'm gonna go back to object mode, grab a circle, grab a sweep, drag the circle in, change circle to like 10, Go back out of this mode, middle mouse button. Let's see, where is the spline? There it is. So we've got our spline right here. So now I want to drag my spline under a child of the sweep too. And you, in order to get it to be right, you might need to change the circle. You might uh, start off and it might look like this. Just change the plane until it forms uh, the right shape. So I'm actually going to drop this down a bit more. So like three, too much, five, that's better. So this 
So now I want the caps on the corners, right? So this one might cause a bit of an issue. So anywhere where it's really bunched up in the corner, actually we'll work with it, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna make this whole thing, select children, uh, hit C, select children again, click object delete, and then I'm gonna go into my polygon editing mode, rotation tool, I'm only gonna do this a few times, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but if you hold control, or sorry, shift, and click on each of these areas, and I'm hitting Apple, or sorry, not Apple, control Z uh, to undo. Same with this, I'm gonna get each one of these in here. And we'll do this one as well. But you wanna do it for every corner that you wanna cap on, which in real life pipes aren't typically curved. So this is why they have the caps. Um, so you'd have a straight pipe, a cap, a straight pipe, sorry, an elbow is what these are actually called. So anyways, I wanna right click, go to extrude, hold control, and see that's the problem I was worried about. So let's fix that. Let's let's just undo all this. Sorry. Um, back to where you have your sweep. This just needs to be thinner. So I'm gonna go to like four. Still too much and we'll go back to three. So now, you so you don't want that crossover. If you have the overlap, it's gonna cause issues. Okay, now I'm just gonna select children, select objects, delete, that should be fine. Another thing I didn't mention, select everything after you've connected any object that's like a, a tube or a sphere or anything with round edges and uh, go to optimize. That way, if there's any points that are standing out after you've messed with the object, it'll get rid of them. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's just something I do in practice. So UL rotation selection, shift clicking these sections again. And the reason I say do this all at the same time is so you can have uniformity. Everything will be the same. And sorry, this is a little longer than five minutes as I'm, I, I don't want to just leave you in the dark and I want to go a little bit more in depth, but right click, extrude, drag this out. Now we're not getting that weird overlap. And now I'm going to hit UL again, select all the edges of each object. And if you wonder, ever wonder how I'm navigating like this, if you don't already know, I'm holding Alt, left clicking to rotate, Alt, middle mouse button to move the scene around, and then Alt and right mouse button to zoom in and out. So that's it just makes navigating way easier than going up here and clicking and doing the same thing. So anyways, when you have those edges selected, right click and extrude. just however far you want the edge caps, which this is totally up to you. You don't have to do it. I did on here. If I zoom in, you can see these little edge caps. So now loop selection again, grab each of these holding shift, right click, extrude again. And that makes a really, really nice, clean looking pipe. Click off this, as you can tell, everything's very, very um, uniform. So then every single angle would be the same. So that's how you make pipes and cables. Next time I will be showing you how to make the digital signs that I made in this render. So stay tuned and watch out for that video. Thank you.